Hi, I'm Wes Gary, and we're at the Force Bar factory today to simulate an installation of a Marlon Seacock. The Marlon Seacocks have a flange base with three mounting holes. This style mounts the same way as traditional bronze seacocks. The great thing with Marlon, though, is that they're lighter and they don't corrode. They meet or exceed all marine UL, ISO, ABYC strict standards for below waterline use. The typical through hole nut is not used and is replaced by the seacock itself. It'll screw right onto the through hole. Although it has a flange with holes, they're only used for fastening to the backing block on the inside of the hull and never through the hull. Let's keep the number of holes that go through the boat to a minimum. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is locate it, find a location which is unobstructed by anything else. Once we have that location, we hold the backing block. We mark our location. Our hole location. Properly fastened to the backing block that's sized for the base will ensure that it's an ABYC compliant installation and keeps the through hull from wiggling when the valve is used. The threaded through hull should be cut to length to allow the valve's base to fully set onto the backing block. ABYC standards require a minimum of five threads, but I always believe overkill never fails. Dry fitting, measuring, cutting are required before the final install. You should also index the through hole head position on the outside of the hull with a china marker, sharpie, or crayon if your kids are helping. And then during the dry fit, you'll have the handle on the inside facing in the correct direction. When caulking and installing, remember to hold the head of the through hole so it does not turn when the screwing of the seacock hunt from the inside happens. It will take two people to do this properly. If it does spin when tightening, I recommend removing, regrouping, and doing it again. Remember, overkill never fails. It may be messy, but a dime of extra caulking now will be cheaper than rehauling and a bottle of aspirin later. Sealing the head of the through hole and the hole in the hull are the most important things. Water sees the head first and then the threads, so a good thread sealant is also needed. A good dose of marine grade underwater caulking on the head, threads, and the hole works great. Be sure it's an approved underwater use seal. Silicone seal, DAP for home use, you know, Home Depot stuff is not suitable for underwater installations.